You just angry. Come on, man. Uh, one of my friends up? encouraged me. And, uh, and uh, so I'm going to share it with you guys, okay? Is that all right? Okay. okay. What are you doing? Oh. It's called. Oh, you made everybody look bad. No, I'm sorry. No to flesh fear. Uh oh. Yes to God's love. Oh, yeah. This is my first time doing this, so y'all bear with me. All right, Lee. This is preferably for my brothers out there. Okay. Don't be afraid to call a scar a scar. I remember when I was broken after each one gave their token and they played the game of me. And I admit I was hoping not to see less of an extra man afterwards. Considering everything that I've done, everything I do, remembering everything that we did, even when we were through, like how you said it wouldn't hurt, I didn't have a clue. Though my soul told me how much I really wanted you, he who owned me showed me how much I really wanted truth. Though it was your smoother than oil speeches that really began to soothe my heart deeper into the groove that says no one, no one, no one could love me as much as you could. I truly believe that lie. How blind I was to accept the things you'd say, leading me to believe I was born this way. The truth, the life, the way, the truth, the life. He's the way to the truth to have life. His name, Jesus Christ. The only guy nice enough to pay the price for us without any favors in return. Who, without him, you and I would probably burn eternally separated from our king. Now, in my life of sin, there was no depression, especially when down there it was in an upward direction. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I was never sad, but you had me so confused that when I worked with you, I was madly to get a hold of yourself, I said. But pep talks don't work when your spirit's dead. Oh, but there's on, life man. in the living bread. When you eat of this, you'll know you've been fed. You don't have to preach Sunday morning, then at night be in their bed. Or better yet, not in their car. Better yet, not in a bar. Yes. Allow me to share something with you you probably never heard before. God's main objective is not to deliver you, but to develop you because development brings about deliverance. The scar in my heart began to take hold of this. I want my deliverance. I want my deliverance, but God wants his development. It's simply an element, not from the periodic table of the worldly sense, but a mentality of a king whose kingdom is righteousness. I had to confront this scar. I had to confront this wound. How fast you can get a scar, but how slow the healing moves. Along my path, I chose to choose what's right. I had to say no. You can't spend the night not just in my bed but in my head the way the flesh defeat if flesh in me was dead so i chose to cut the thread to every lie you ever said until i could understand the words written to me in red yes like forgiveness yeah one of the hardest things i've learned but when Christ is using you, no one else ever gets a turn again. I say rejoice. Make a choice to rejoice in the truth that he wants to hear your voice. He wants to hear you. He wants you to sing to him. He wants you to speak. He wants to make you holy. He wants you to seek him with your whole heart. He removes double-mindedness as he fixes the scar. The same scar I brought attention to from the start. The scar that runs deeper than Neptune's distance from Mars. The scar speaks to you and says you'll never be free. It says settle for less inside but outside. Look clean, look and act as though nothing's wrong. Go to church, sing a praise song, but all along pretend it's okay. Don't read your word, no need to pray. Did I mention I was molested at eight by a friend who convinced me I'll never be straight, that I'll never lose weight, as if I can handle how much I could take of what he had already laid on my plate, but I chose to stop eating. I chose to stop feeding on every lustful thought as a greedy someone who was needy, but yet ready to turn this page despite their rage, because truth is, he didn't want me to change. But I decided to let Jesus do surgery. I said I decided to let Jesus do surgery. I said I decided to let Jesus do surgery. I decided to trust him by faith and be free. Oh, how he embraced the little boy in me 
who needed a male in his life, but not sexually, but affectionately like the father he is. You give him your heart, you're eternally his, never to be abandoned forever except from the scar that's within. The little boy in you, he'll teach to be a man. He'll give you his heart, he'll tell you his plans he has for you, fearfully, wonderfully made friend. Oh, brother of mine, mark this day in your heart. Forget all of the pain, forget all of the hurt. Jesus can and will change what you deem the worst of the worst, but do not be afraid to call a scar a scar first. Yeah!